Iran maintains Saudi Arabia doesn't deserve to manage the holy site, while Saudi Arabia accuses Iran of making unfair demands for the pilgrimage. The result, Iran has boycotted the Hajj. The Iranian government delegation refused to sign this year's preparation agreement to facilitate the Hajj for its citizens. This week, Saudi media have highlighted the arrival of a few Iranians. They have come to Mecca via other countries and most are dual nationals. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia differentiates completely between the personal stances of some leaders and some countries regarding Hajj and visiting the holy mosques. They are our responsibility and our duty is to facilitate anyone in the world who wants to visit our holy sites. Tensions have been running high between Saudi Arabia and Iran after a stampede left hundreds of people dead last year. Iran had wanted to join the investigation into the disaster, but Saudi Arabia considered it an internal matter and refused Iran access. Iran has boycotted Hajj before for three years in the late 1980s. Back then, Saudi police used to clash with Shiite pilgrims who were using the Hajj as a platform to protest. So is Iran going to extend this boycott? The statements from officials from both countries indicate that it's likely. Saudi Arabia says the Hajj shouldn't be politicized, but it has become a political issue and neither country seems prepared to back down. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Mecca, Saudi Arabia.